Bonjour, friends, and happy French Friday to you. Okay, so for my haul, I will just start with uh, TJ Maxx items first because I just have a couple of items to share with you from TJ Maxx. And so first, I will begin with this uh, rabbit here, this brass gold colored rabbit on this white marble base. And I paid $9.99 at TJ Maxx for it. It's very heavy. Love that. And then I also found this um, farmhouse by Rachel Ashwell. You get a set of six of these cute little uh, Easter egg with the bunny ears on, on the top there. And uh, I believe that these are for hanging on a tree, which I'm thinking about doing with, with these. And uh, this was $12.99. I could be wrong, I should open it up. It might be a garland. I'm not sure if it's a garland or if it's, um, like I said, to hang on a Easter tree. So I might use them as ornaments on my tree if I can, because I do have that gold tree that you guys saw um, that I used at Valentine's. And uh, I think these would be really pretty on there if that's what they are. It doesn't say on the tag, I've looked everywhere on the tag so I'm not sure what they are, but I should just take them out and see what they are. So maybe I'll do that for you. Okay, so I took it out of the packaging and it is an Easter garland. So I could use it as a garland on my fireplace mantle this year, or I could just take these off right here it looks like all they did was um they put these little ornaments on the gold string here to make a garland so i could still use them as little uh, tree ornaments if i wanted to for easter and uh, so i might do that too as well so you just have to wait and see i guess what i end up doing with it but i just really liked it um love the gold color on here and it's going to go really nicely with all my little gold touches that I'll have around my house for springtime and Easter. Recently my mom came out to visit us and uh, we had so much fun going around to some antique stores and thrift stores while she was here and we met up with a good friend of ours and went around uh, thrifting and going to some antique stores with her and we had so much fun together and so I'm going to just share those goodies with you now. I found these uh, birds little nest um, with the gold eggs inside. They're such a cute size. They're small and uh, they're actually for holding um, place cards like at your dining room table and I'm Probably not going to use them for that purpose, um, or at least not this year. Um, but these are little tabletop place card holders. Uh, like I said, I love the golden eggs in them. They are originally from Pottery Barn, as you can see here. And I think they're going to go so nicely with these gold eggs over here that I showed you. And I think they'll be so pretty on my gold tree for Easter. So that's what I think I'm going to do with these instead of using them for place card holders. So I think those will be so pretty on the Easter tree this year. Okay, I'm going to share these smaller items now with you. Uh, this first one, I normally don't share jewelry on here on my channel. I mainly share like home decor, but I wanted to just share this because I thought it was really neat, um, very creative. It looks like somebody probably handmade this necklace and it has these little small tiny little uh, brass gold uh, uh, scissors on here and then um, little charms you know that they hung from the wooden spool and then there's the wooden spool there and I just thought it was very creative and I thought it was really neat and uh, I ended up buying one for myself and one for my mom and I 
some matching necklaces. I thought those were really pretty. It has a pretty long uh, chain on here. Okay, the next little items here I wanted to share was this little lamb and the sheep here. And they're just really sweet, I thought. And they're a porcelain. These next brass items are miniature size, so I thought they'd be really neat in my uh, small cabinet with my miniatures. I love this brass little watering can. thought this was really sweet. And that was $5.95 for that. And the same for this little tea kettle. And it has the brass and the copper on the tea kettle. I thought that was really cute. And the lid uh, comes off of here as well. I thought that was really sweet. And then this uh, I picked up too because this is a old famous building in Paris. Love this. Thought that was really neat to find that at the antique store. And then it says Paris right there. And yeah, this was $5.95 for that. So those were all the same price. Here's where I put my little miniature teapot that I shared with you. And then I have the one that my daughter found for me. And I love that one that she got for me. It's a copper teapot. And that one is made in England. I'm not sure where mine is made. It doesn't say. But my daughter knows that I love miniatures. So she got me that one. And I love it. And then I picked up these old clothespins that were only 50 cents each. So I got three of those. And then I picked up some old wooden spools. This one was 30 cents. I'm not sure why that one was cheaper. The rest of them were all 50 cents each. So I thought those were really, really cute. And I may um, use them for making a craft type of project or I may just uh, put them in a glass jar uh, in my craft room I'm not sure yet <laughs> and I may put these in my laundry room or use these for a project um, but yeah I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with them yet but I really like those okay now I'm going to share my next items and some of the items have the price tag still on them because I think one of the antique stores we went to left some of the tags on the other one did not so like these don't have the price on them anymore so if they have the price on it still I'll share it with you otherwise sorry I'm not going to share the price because um, I don't remember the exact price on all the items okay so I did get these three green flower frogs at the antique store and I love the green color and that is really hot this year green so I'm loving it, uh, especially for springtime. I think it looks so pretty. I also picked up this uh, metal flower frog. This one does have a price on it. This one was $8.50. So I got that one. And I have two other ones that are similar to this, but they're a little bit different in size and shape. So I needed a third one because I wanted to put an old black and white photo standing up uh, inside of it. So um, I have it, uh, I have two other ones in my office like that and I needed a third one. So I'm gonna use that for that purpose. So these are the old photos I was talking about. And then I put uh, my new one right here with the other old photo on there. And I think those look really nice here in my office. This next item I love, ironstone pitchers. You guys probably know that by now. And I picked this little one up and it's made in France. It doesn't have the tag still on it, but I love these little pitchers and uh, especially the ones made in France. This next sheep I picked up, I love it. It has the little bell on the front here and I can't remember
remember if it said where this one was made. I don't think it does. It doesn't say where it's made. I think I looked for that already. But you guys know that I love sheep too, so I'm always on the lookout for really nice sheep that I can use in my decor. And that is perfect for springtime. And I don't remember what the price was on this. I want to say it was $8. And then I picked up this white adorable bunny that's sitting on a tree stump. And they did not leave the price tag on this one either. But uh, it's so cute, doesn't it? With the lid comes off and you can put something inside if you like but I just thought this is perfect for springtime I love bunnies and sheep around springtime well, I love them any time of year but especially it's nice to have them around for spring and Easter of course at the antique store I also picked up this uh, clipboard that is covered in this twall fabric. I thought it was so pretty. Love this green twall. And it's this exact same fabric that uh, is on my bedroom curtains and on one of my comforters in my bedroom. But uh, the ones I have in my bedroom are black and cream. So it was neat to see the same print of the twall fabric, but in green and cream. So I thought this was really pretty and I, I think I'm just going to clip on a really neat uh, picture on here and then decorate this uh, with my all my green stuff that I'm going to be using uh, to decorate with for springtime. Next I found this green and cream uh, scale at the antique store. I love that and it would be so cute really sitting anywhere. But uh, it would be cute in the dining room or kitchen to uh, sit some things on, some faux food, or you could even set a nest on it, or uh, the possibilities are endless of the cute things you could set on top of this scale. Uh, but again, I really liked the green and the cream together and uh, just thought it would be very pretty for spring as well. And then I picked up this winter green extract uh, glass bottle from the antique store. It still has its tag on it, so I paid uh, $2 for that bottle. I thought it was just a really neat old bottle, still having the label on it and everything. And again, that green color, I was really attracted to as well. So I picked that up. Okay, the next thing I picked up at the antique store was this really pretty picture and a really pretty gold frame as well. And you guys know I love pictures with uh, farm scenes on them and I couldn't resist this one with uh, this goat on here with this um, young girl sitting by. It looks to be like some kind of wooden wheelbarrow with flowers in it and I just thought that would be also very pretty to decorate with for springtime. And this one was $18.99. Okay, this next item is quite big so I just have it sitting on the floor so I could share it with you. And I have it leaning against my table leg down there so I love sheep you guys know this about me obviously I have it on my uh, business logo and everything so this one says spun woolens on it and uh, this uh, sheep sign I picked up for $36.99 and like I said it is quite large I can't wait to hang it it does have two hangers on the back so it can easily be hung on the wall Okay, I just realized something funny, guys, because I was telling you about the fabric in my bedroom. But look at this, and then look, look at this. 
So I have it here on my dining room chairs too in the red and cream. It's hysterical, but yeah, you guys know I love twall, so it shouldn't, shouldn't surprise you, right? <laughs> okay, these next couple of items are from a store that is uh, local to me that my neighbor lady told me about that she thought that I would like. And it's called the French Quarter. And it's here in California, like I said, local to me. So uh, my mom and I went in to go check it out. And uh, I found this really cute patisserie uh, muffin there. So I picked that up because I like decorating with faux food. And this looks so real, so realistic. And it's going to be so cute uh, in my kitchen or it would even go nice in the dining room here but I think I'll probably be using it in my kitchen. And then at the French Quarter, I also picked up these really neat um, garden pots. And so I picked up three of these. So I'm gonna decorate with these for spring. And these were $1.95 each. I like that they have a little uh, aged look to them. These next items I'm going to share with you are from a thrift store and our friend had told us about this thrift store and we had never been there before so it was a lot of fun to go there and it's a church uh, thrift store so um, when we went in there it actually was half off day on everything so that was really exciting and connected to the thrift store was also this retail store space and they said that everything was half off in there as well and so everything was half off so we were so excited we uh had fun shopping in there and the first thing i bought was this uh, great engravers book i love decorating with old books and i thought this one was really neat it has some really neat pictures in it and uh this one was $9.99 and then half off of that price. And let me see, I'm not gonna show you all the pages, but um, inside here it says uh, the French engravers and etchers of the earlier 18th century. So I love the pictures, of course, these French pictures that are in here, just some really beautiful, uh, black and white old pictures in here. So love, love, love it. <laughs> and just kind of skim through there so you could see some of those pictures, but it's just beautiful and it's really old. You can tell it's, it's falling apart here a little bit on the side. I'm gonna have to be careful with this one. The next item I picked up was this uh, little lamp. I just thought it was really sweet and I love the antique gold color of it. And this one was originally $29.99 and I got it half off. So, and it said as is, but I couldn't find anything wrong with it. I did put a light bulb in it and tried it and it did work. But the only thing I could see that was wrong was it probably originally had a velvet um, bottom uh, on here and it just no longer has it. It, it, it. This is old, so it probably just came off. And so that's the only thing I could see that was missing that, that was wrong with it. So, um, yeah, I thought this was really a pretty little lamp. And then back behind here, as you can see, I got this old lampshade that uh, is just the wire metal part. And there was no price on it couldn't find a price on the tag at all. So she ended up just giving me a price and then giving me half off of that price. And if you guys remember the lamp I have in my entryway that has those really neat um, old black and white photos on it and it's just like this, but it's been um, like had a DIY project done to it. That's what I'm thinking about doing to this uh, lampshade. I think that would look really neat. 
And then the next thing I purchased was uh, in that newer retail shop space. I did purchase this frame and I loved the uh, silhouette picture in here. I just thought it looked very, um, you know, old fashioned, vintage looking. And this was originally $14.99 and it was half off of that price. And then I picked up another frame in that retail space as well. And as you can see, this one, it was originally from Creative Co-op. I thought this was a really neat frame as well. And it was $14.99, half off of that price. And then I also picked up this older frame for $4.99 and half off of that. And that was just in the thrifted uh, part of the store. It's a really neat, unusual size frame, I think. So hopefully I'll find something really neat to put in that frame. And then the next item, I thought this would be so cute for springtime and Easter, this little bunny uh, next to the pot here, the garden pot. And this was $5.99 and half off of that price. Just thought that was really cute. In that retail space I was telling you about, they also had these keys here uh, that were originally from Creative Co-op. And these were $6.99 and half off of that price. I thought these keys were really neat. These would be neat to decorate with or hang on a, um, decorate a glass bottle and hang it around the neck of the bottle or something. So uh, there's so many different things you can do with these old looking skeleton keys. And then also in that retail space, they had these fleur-de-lis uh, magnets. And um, they were originally $5.99 a set. And again, these were both half off. I got two packages of these. It's kind of hard to see through the plastic. But hopefully you can see that okay. But they are the fleur-de-lis and I love, love those. Okay, here's a close-up look at these magnets. And I've got eight here total. Or the keys look really cute hanging there because of the red twill that I have here in the room. And then in the thrifted part of the store, I picked up this decor piece for $5.99 and then again it was also half off and I thought it'd be neat to put like a small little plant in there or something you know something small maybe a little bunny or a plant I don't know you could do so much with these these things so that's what it looks like with the little plant in there this might actually even fit inside my little bunnies little pot here, garden pot. And that would be cute too. I almost forgot to share this uh, wreath back here with you, but this is also thrifted and it had the original price on it from, from Hobby Lobby, as you can see there. So it's originally from Hobby Lobby and um, then I got it for $4.99 and then on sale as well. And I love the green color on this wreath with the uh, berries. It's kind of an um, white or off-white color berries on there, but I just thought that's such a pretty color for springtime. I love that sage green color on this wreath. Okay, I also found this little lampshade at the thrift store and this one was 50 cents. So I thought I couldn't go wrong for 50 cents because I thought if I uh, wanted to, I could change the fabric on here um, or, you know, figure out to give it a different look. I could paint it or like I said, put different fabric on it or something, but I was thinking that it might fit on here and um, I thought that might be kind of cute on my little lamp. So let me know what you think. Do you think that is too small of a lampshade for the lamp or do you think that looks okay? 
but like I said, for 50 cents, I didn't think I could go wrong. I could always um, upcycle it, change it, give it a new look. So um, yeah, I thought it was a cute shade. I do like the little beads on here, but if I changed the color, I could always cut those off too. But I do like the way the beading is on there in this little um, nice uh, trim piece here on the top and bottom of the shade. I do have that sort of robin egg blue color, a little bit of that color in my living room, so that may go nicely in there. Okay, that is all for my church thrift store haul, and I hope you enjoyed seeing the things that I found. Okay, so now I'm going to share my Goodwill thrift finds with you. And the first thing here is this faux plant. And it didn't have a price on it, so they just gave me a price. And I believe it was like 2 or $3. It was cheap. And I like the look of this faux plant for springtime. And then I also picked up a couple of older books. And this one has the story of Joan of Arc. I like decorating with older books. And I got this one for $4.99. And I thought this um, spring book would look nice just to take that cover off and have the green color for spring. So it's called North with the Spring. The next thing I got was this basket. And I liked that it was flat on the back here so I can hang it on a hook or, you know, um, on a cabinet. I could just, there's so many different places I could hang it, but it really needs to be painted because it looks like somebody started to paint it and didn't finish the job. So I'm going to um, probably spray paint this. And then I thought it would be, look really cute with a little plant in it. And then I just happened to find this little plant at the thrift store as well. It was not priced, had the original price of $5 on the bottom but it didn't have a price, so they just gave me a price at the counter for it. But I thought, how cute would that be when I get it painted and then have that plant in it coming out of it for springtime? I thought that would be really cute. Next, my mom found these uh, cutting boards. Well, they look like cutting boards. They're like faux. It looks like wood, but um, it's actually not. And these were $2.99. And um, my mom thought I might like these, and I did. I thought they were pretty neat. It's made out of, I don't think, it's not focusing, but it's made out of melamine. There you go. Um, so as you can see on the back, they're not real wood, but they look it from the front. So I thought those were kind of neat. And uh, I could put like a um, jute rope like string going through the hole here and hang it uh, from a peg rack in my kitchen or um, it would be nice too to even set like a jar candle on there uh, on my kitchen island or something. But I ended up getting two of those. And then I also picked up this uh, chicken or rooster. I'm not sure here what it is, but you guys know that I do like chicken and roosters in my uh, kitchen area. And, and I, have, I have one in my dining room too. And uh, this one was $5.99. It originally was from Pier 1 Imports for $12.95. And uh, yeah, I picked that up and I may put that in my kitchen or I may resell it. I'm not sure yet. And then I picked up this, um, I don't know what to call it. I guess it would be for hanging jewelry on it, like uh, uh, to display your jewelry or um, just to hang like necklaces on it, I guess. I'm not really sure, but I thought that would may come in handy um, to either use it for my jewelry or uh, possibly to use it for a store display for jewelry. And it was $3.99 at the Goodwill. Okay, next I picked up another basket because I thought this one was really nice. It looks to be like in perfect condition, like it looks like it's brand new, never been used. And uh, this one was $3. And again, it's the flat back basket, so it can be hung 
on a peg rack or on a door. You know, you could hang this anywhere and it looks so pretty. And I thought it'd be nice with some spring flowers in it. I probably won't use real flowers, even though you could because of the plastic in there. But I'll probably just use some faux uh, greenery or flowers. I wanted to show you real quick. I did pick up these uh, for springtime. Uh, these were at the Dollar General store for a dollar each. And I picked up three of them. And I'll just show you real quick. I thought these might even look really nice in the basket for spring and summer. And of course I need to take the price tag off of them. But yeah, I thought that would be really cute. And there's something like that. So how cute does that look? I did pick up one more thing at the Dollar General store. It's a small spring wreath that I'll share with you. It's got these little tiny white flowers on there, but I thought this would be pretty, um, you know, using it as a wreath, or I could even just put it um, on a candle, like around a candle and use it as like a candle ring. So I picked that up from Dollar General store as well. And that one was $5. Okay, my other Goodwill finds are these three candlestick holders, and I love the color of these and the distressing on them as well. And these were brand new, still with the tags on them originally uh, from Rustic Farmhouse. And uh, there was no like original price on the tag. It just had the, um, the name of the Rustic Farmhouse uh, where they came from originally. And then, um, so I picked these up. These were $9.99 for all three. It was not $9.99 each. It says one of three on there. So um, they were a set of three for $9.99 at the Goodwill. And so, yeah, I really like those. And I like the, the different heights of each of those too. I thought those would be really pretty with some candles on there. So that's it for my Goodwill haul. Please share, like, and subscribe. That helps out my channel so much. Thank you for stopping by to visit me and seeing what I'm up to. I will see you next French Friday, friends. Until then, a bientôt.